boots and caps and boots and caps and boots and caps and boots and caps and boots and caps. Did you watch the vlog yesterday, Jermaine? It's boots and pants. No, I did watch the vlog, and I'm pretty sure it's boots and caps. No way. I, no, no, no. I mean, you do yours. Do yours like a beatbox it. Boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants. <laughs> <laughs> Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and. Oh my I don't God, know. Which one is it? It can be either one of them, actually. Like yours actually sounded better than I thought about it in my mind. Yeah, suck it. Hey, Twitter. <laughs> boots and pants or boots and cats? Jessica Ryan. Do you know, I feel like I'm going to have to come up with a better way to like start this show because I can't like every single day be like, hey. I mean, I could. <laughs> you could. You'll be one of those girls. You'll be a drunk girl at the bar. Good. No way. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, what's up? How is your day going? It's good, actually. Um, I am standing in front of, let me see if I can turn around. There no, we are. No, uh, whatever. Anyway. I'm standing in front of the New York um, City Stock Exchange, or the New York Stock Exchange, hoping that their luck, I mean, are they lucky right now? But hoping that their luck will rub off on us. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Wall Street. Yeah. Why don't you give back? Yeah. Take your money out of Pork Ventures and invest in Broadway Unlocked. Pork Ventures? I don't know. Is that a thing? I feel like Pork Ventures, <laughs> cutting the fat. No? Okay. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Speaking of Pork Ventures... <laughs> um, dude, I have a money update for us. Would you like to hear it? I do want to hear about it. So, as of today, we have raised $1,650 on Indiegogo. Yo, yo, yo. What is that? I'm looking at my computer screen. 7% of our goal already. That's amazing. We're only a couple That's days in. Pretty amazing. Um, I was just wondering, Jermaine, uh, have you donated? Because I've donated. I have not donated, but I will be shortly because I was away for the holidays and didn't get paid for two weeks. So once I get a check, I'll be dropping a check. Oh, sad face. You could donate $2, though. I could donate $2. I'm also donating my time, which is also a way that you can donate to um, different charities. But also money is very helpful. Your time is very valuable, <laughs> but so is money, and particularly to Broadway Unlocked, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Whoa, where's that pig at? How do you get on my screen? <laughs> <laughs> so, Jess, I hear we have some great news. We've booked someone um, pretty special. Tell us about it. Yeah. Uh, well, let's talk about our like current lineup that's already sort of announced. We haven't actually done like an announcement yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unofficial announcement with a drum roll. <laughs> yeah. Gargling. You know, I can put a sound effect in this, right? Oh, shit. Talking mushrooms. <laughs> so, so far, for the concert, we have, ready, Kyle Dean Massey. <laughs> and we have some of my very favorite musical theater writers in the world. Ready for it? Chris Miller and Nathan Tyson. Who? Brian Loudermilk and Kate Kerrigan. Huh? Bobby Cronin. <laughs> and Joey Contreras. <laughs> Jermaine, I really appreciate you being so blown away by our lineup so far in the concert. Hey, there's more! <laughs> yeah. Ready for it? Today's mm -hmm. very special announcement for the lineup of the Broadway Unlocked Give Back concert on Monday, February 22nd, 2016 is... Ali Stroker from the Glee Project and Spring Awakening. I know! Yeah, it is, Ali. I've seen her before. Dude, she's amazing. I cannot believe she's going to be performing at the concert. That's pretty awesome, actually. I have to say, that's a, that's a big get. And um, she's going to be appearing with Bobby. Bobby's actually writing um, a little thing for her. So we're going to have him on the vlog next week. Surprise! And, uh, yeah, and he's uh, going to talk to us a little bit about it. That's awesome. Can't wait to talk to him. Super rad. So uh, that's your lineup so far. We are still adding new people, so make sure you watch this vlog every day for the latest and the greatest. Um, okay, Jermaine, here is what I want to talk about today with you. It's actually okay. a video from one of our past concerts. 
uh, our friend Michael Kilgore. Tell the people about our friend Michael Kilgore. Michael Kilgore, I don't know if you watched The Wiz recently on NBC. Michael Kilgore is an amazing tenor, obviously from the church because he's got a church singing voice. Um, in The Wiz, he was the gentleman wearing the shiny sequined emerald green suit with the like Lisa Simpson sparkly like wig and like just <laughs> meow, 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 meow. that's what he was doing a lot of. And when he was at our concert a few years ago, we dropped a little bit of a little um, knowledge nugget on the audience, if you will, because he, Michael Kilgore, was the standby, or like the, I think he said the second understudy for, wait for it, Dion in the Broadway cast of Hair. When the moon is in the seventh house and Jupiter aligns with Mars, then peace will guide the planets and love will see the stars. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius, the age of Aquarius, Aquarius. I mean, I like almost peed my pants when he did that at the concert. I had to change my pants. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, theme of this, uh, if you come to the Give Back concert or watch on YouTube, have a spare pair of pants ready. And actually have a spare head, too, because apparently we're just blowing minds left wow. and right. <laughs> That's true. So, dudes, um, aside from the Give Back concert, this is our promised non-concert related thing. Go check Michael out on YouTube. He's actually part of Postmodern Jukebox. So um, I think he did the like greatest love of all video, right, Jermaine? He did. Um, he may have, but I remember, and this is topical because Celine Dion, but he did My Heart Will Go On with okay. Postmodern Jukebox and just like completely reinvigorated that song in a way that as Postmodern Jukebox does, reinvent songs. But his version of My Heart Will Go On, the Celine Dion song, Rest in Peace, Renee Angelou, um, is pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you have a homework assignment today. First off, go to youtube.com slash Broadway Unlocked and watch the video of him singing Dion from Hair, and then if you eat the whole thing. And if you want, you can also see him singing uh, uh, Lions and Pack Shark song that's super awesome from a couple years ago as well. Then you're going to go to Postmodern Jukebox's YouTube page, and you're going to watch him do all his Postmodern Jukebox. And then you're going to go follow him because he's making his debut album right now. I contributed to it on Kickstarter, and you should definitely stay in the loop because you're not going to want to miss it. Jermaine, campaign update yes. number four in the bag. We've made four vlogs in four days. We're actually doing this. Um, I've not slept in a while. I mean, actually, that's a lie. You've not slept in a while. <laughs> you can't just take my <laughs> suffering and give it to yourself. <laughs> um, it's the American way. That's true. Okay. <laughs> this got so deep. Anyway, <laughs> uh, if you are into deep, meaningful uh, conversation about strife and struggle in the United States, you should watch this vlog. If you like pigs and pork ventures and the New York City Stock Exchange. And, of course, if you love live theater and want to watch it on YouTube, you should watch this vlog. You should subscribe to us on YouTube, and you should head over to Indiegogo. I just got a notification on my camera or my uh, phone that someone contributed and that someone could be you so go to indiegogo.com find the broadway unlock give back campaign and donate today help us reach our goal of twenty five thousand dollars for survivors of interpersonal violence boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots what, and cats and what?